Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with Windows 11 where it cannot read or write to disk or CDs. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve this. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Star menu and search for RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results should come back to Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you would easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the System folder. Same thing for Current Control Set. So go ahead and double-click on that. Locate the Control folder. Double-click on it. And there should be a Class folder under here. Double-click on it. And now you want to look for a value that says 4D36. That's what it starts with. So it should be pretty close to the top here. And then it says E965. So I'm just going to have to go down a little bit here. So if you don't see it, I'm just going to start typing the curly bracket here. And then 4D36 E965. So you can see it's not too far down the page here, but again, 4D36E965 minus E325 minus 11CE minus BFC1 minus 08002PE10318. So you can take note of our file path up on the top of the screen here. I'm actually just going to copy it, so then if you need to paste it directly in to the registry editor window, you can. You can just paste it in. I will have this in the description of the video. And now on the right panel here, there should be two values you want to go ahead and delete. There will be an upper filters and a lower filters if you're coming across this problem. You want to go ahead and just you'd right click on both of the values so there'd be a upper filters, you'd right click and delete it. And there also would be a lower filters, you'd right click and delete that one as well. Doesn't matter which order, but again there would be two string values over here on the left that would say lower filters and upper filters. You want to go ahead and remove both of them. Once you're done with that, you can close out of here. You will need to restart your computer. And then hopefully it would have resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, we can also attempt to run a system file checker utility. So open up the search menu, type in CMD, best results should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer again. So there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.